hanging out. I'm doing my free flight, adding a little bit of gas. Looking like it's gonna be a decent day. We'll see how the clouds are looking the further we get out, but uh, he's pumped. This is uh, my absolute favorite thing. If you own a fur coop, you can pull one window above, and you basically have like windows to the side. And it, when it's warm, it's honestly like perfect temperature. Now I'm not gonna fly like this with the dog because. Uh, my wife would kill me if he jumped out. I don't think that's ever going to be an issue, but <laughs> better safe than dead. And uh, I'm not just talking about the dog, I'm talking about my wife would kill me. So obviously today we're, me and the pup are going to fly. He, he absolutely loves it. He loves looking at the sights and sticking his head out. So we're going to go for a short cross country, keep building those hours towards ATP minimums. Um, so, today we're going to build a little more cross-country time. So we're going to go down to Arcadia, which is one of my favorite airports. Um, I try not to go to the same airports over and over again, but Arcadia is a cross perfect cross-country distance, and uh, they also have drinks and popsicles. So, that's the plan. Winter Haven traffic, Air 369 are departing 23, Winter Haven. Alrighty. I don't know why they're using this runway. We literally have another runway that the winds are favoring. Traffic RV 32 Delta Charlie is 10 miles to the north east. Inbound landing, Winter Haven. And Winter Haven traffic. RV6 turning in uh, final runway 23, Winter Haven. Winter Haven traffic set on November 170 of attack on the crosswind. Runway 23, Winter Haven for touch and close. And Winter Haven, uh, Cardinal P4273, uh, final 423 behind the RV. Facing should be good, Jim. This is the moment where he goes from being a good dog to a very bad dog. We'll see how this goes. Doggo's taking a nap. And we're about 35 minutes out. It's a little bumpy, as you can tell. <laughs> that headwind. Pretty strong today, so. But it's not too bad. Wild level is higher out here, and uh, always a great day to fly. Even when it feels like you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> whoa, whoa. It's always disorienting when you try to look behind you. Doggo doesn't seem to care. Arcadia traffic, or Coop Niner Niner, 369 or final 24, Arcadia. I just struggled to see that today. Oh, 
Open up traffic, Scott, 859 Charlie Pop is on a 4 now, miles straight in, runway 23, open Toby. Let's get the windows up. I got to run around a little bit at Arcadia and had a great conversation with uh, the uh, airport manager. Apparently, there's like a bunch of Urkoops here. Over the past few days, she showed me like three pictures, three or four pictures. Like, what the heck? And so she was oohing and on over it. Uh, pro tip, do not buy an Urkoop if you hate talking to people, because you will always talk to people when you... Arcadia traffic, Urkoop Niner Niner, 369er, departing runway 24, going to be a northbound departure. Arcadia. How do you like that face? I want to take a, a quick second to elaborate on what the heck it is I'm doing. <laughs> uh, besides, you know, making these YouTube videos, the reason I'm making them is to kind of document my I'm building experience and journey and what I'm learning and all the fun things I'm doing. Um, so I bought this plane with the intentions of time building to make it to the airline. So all, all my experience won't come from just this. Um, it's just going to be cover a lot of my hours, uh, get me to a job that will be a stepping stone to get towards my ATP. And if you're not familiar with ATP, is an airline transport pilot certificate, and you have to have a minimum of 1,500 hours. Um, and there's some ways to reduce some of those hours, but for me, I have to go to 1,500 hours of total flight time. 500 has to be cross country, 75 of it has to be instrument. It's like 25 or 50 multi hours, multi engine hours, and like 100 hours of night. Um, and I might be missing a couple things in there, but that's the gist of it. And so I'm using this to knock out a good chunk and lead me into a job. Um, I could potentially go the CFI route, but I'm trying to avoid that at all costs because that just does not sound fun to me. So I bought this plane and I'm time building in it. This is my loophole to make a time building quick. Uh, cheap, I mean, yes, you could go CFI and, and uh, have someone else pay for the hours, but you're only getting, you know, a limited amount of hours. And, uh, and make it fun. Everyone complains about building the hours to get to ATP minimums, and I just, I just could not fathom that it had to be a certain way. I'm the person that not go with the flow. So it may not make sense for the most of the world, but uh, this, 
is a way to make time building fun. I didn't think it had to be boring. And the way I'm doing it, in my personal opinion, I am learning so much by doing this rather than doing power off and power on installs with the student over and over again in the driver pattern, which there's a lot to learn by teaching. But doing cross country is encountering so many different weather systems, having to make decisions and going to unfamiliar airports over and over again. Like I've been learning so much this way and not only have I been learning a lot, but I've been really, really enjoying this time. So, you know, I can fly with the puff and build some hours, see some sides, have to deal with different weather like today, you know, dealing with headwind and tailwind and having a 15 knot crosswind both at Winter Haven and at uh, Arcadia today and getting to meet so many people, I mean, it's just been a blast. So, that's a, that's a, in a summary uh, what I'm doing. And so if you're wondering why the heck I'm just flying around all the time, uh, it has a purpose. Um, and I'll probably make a video on uh, more in depth on my thought process of this, but I thought I would share. Winter Haven traffic, or two nine nine or three six nine or turning base two three Winter Haven. Winter Haven Ranger nine Tango Alpha is clear two three. City traffic, 506 number Delta, currently 5 miles south of the field, inbound, what's up, 600 for teardrop over midfield, for left down, runway 10, Plant City. Winter Haven traffic, Urgent Niner, Niner, 369, final 23, Winter Haven. We're going to make an event for the traffic. We got ballooned up big time. I had pulled my power all the way. Get just a little more. I. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. There's a lot more videos and a lot more time building to be done, so join in. Uh, I think uh, if the weather holds, I'll be doing some formation flying with some buddies and uh, getting some photos. And it'll be a good time. Thanks for watching.